For this I hope I won't run out of time. Oh yes. Uh, first a uh, Jesus Jesus um, Noah's years, if I can call them that. Uh, first there happens to be some words about uh, John the Baptist well uh, it seems a little bit confusing in details like uh, who called him uh, who called he wipers and exactly where did he do his ministry and exactly who visited him and uh, some misquotes for him but uh, who cares uh, he then tells some teachings that uh, the country of heaven is coming and uh, hail to communism and uh, what not. Uh, and there is that part what is really important. He flatly denies that he would be Elisha. He isn't Elisha. Elisha never came. Uh, then who is Jesus? Absolutely not the fully uh, perfect uh, fulfiller of the Old Testament prophecies. Well, if you uh, listen to me, that was the only prophecy in the uh, Old uh, Covenant. Well, uh, okay, this whole baptism thing is about uh, taking away sin, uh, washing it away. Uh, but then comes Jesus, and Jesus asks to be baptized. But why? He's the sinless uh, uh, being, born by God. Why? Why? Why do he need he to be baptized? And then there the problems arises. Uh, when did he so? Uh, when the skies were opened? Maybe when he went to the shore, maybe he, after he went to the shore and prayed, maybe just after he got up uh, from the water, uh, who knows, maybe known. Uh, and then, uh, was he grabbed by the Holy Spirit and... Uh, met he with the Satan or did he go straight to the Cana on that wedding? Who knows? Okay, but what about this Satan thing? Uh, well, uh, was he uh, visited by Satan in all the 40 days or on the last day? And what is the order he was grabbed? Uh, first the temple or first the mountain? And how come the, uh, the, the earth is flat according to these stories? Oh, maybe these are just mythology and never happened and this is just human creation. God never existed, maybe. Okay, then I put here the genealogy of Jesus. Uh, this is a... Well, everyone talks about the genealogy of Jesus, so I won't. Uh, but I will ask you. Uh, well, who were the fo first four disciples of him? The first four later apostles? Uh, Simon, Peter and Andrew, but in what kind of order? Uh, seems to be the first two, but who was the third and the fourth. Uh, well, maybe they were John and uh, Jacob. Maybe they were uh, Philip and uh, yeah, who was that next guy? Nathanael. Hmm. Seems pretty... not that matching, if you ask me. Um, and also some details also uh, differs there, but after these big differences, who cares? And I wonder what happened under the fig tree with Nathanael, if you wonder. So, the Cana wedding. Uh, there is where the Jesus' mother uh, comes there and 
go and do that or I will kick your ass episode and Jesus uh, obeys well he this is the only part in John where he tells that oh it's not my time don't talk about me I really don't do that uh, and how fucking fortunate those people were maybe he could turn those uh, water to blood like his father did in the exodus uh, and this is, uh, as it claimed, the very first sign of Jesus. Well, the very first miracle, if you ask me, but who cares? Uh, okay, uh, it seems Jesus' father is dead at this time, because he no longer mentioned, and uh, Jesus' mother seems to lead the whole family business. Uh, then comes the ministry in Capernaum, and the first uh, exorcism. Uh, he went to Capernaum and did uh, some preaching, but where he got famous in? Uh, in Galilee or in Syria? Who knows? Maybe both may be known. Uh, then uh, when he exorcised that uh, spirit, uh, did it torn anything, or it uh, went away without harm? Who knows? Maybe both. Maybe known. Uh, well, 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 well. And what happened? Uh, was there the four um, disciples of Jesus, or was there only Jesus? Who knows? Maybe both. Maybe known. As you might uh, be familiar with this term. Uh, was the crowd there amused or terrified by this act? Mm, seems pretty strange detail to me. And yes, uh, how did he curse out that the devil uh, or Satan or whatever it was? Uh, with a word or with a touch? doesn't seem the same to me. Also with there is this episode with Peter's relative. Uh, how did Jesus acquire the knowledge about uh, this uh, person's sickness? He saw it, it was told to him, or they begged uh, to him uh, that he should cure this person and also with word or with touch and also uh, there were after this uh, the healing of many person in just one night uh, with word or by touch uh, then there comes uh, the leper guy uh, well this just goes to Jesus I heard there was uh, the emotion of Jesus is uh, got twisted in the later translation, but who cares? Maybe that's just a not so important detail, and maybe that was only the Gnostics. Uh, but there is that part where Jesus precisely, directly orders this person and throw it all of you that do all the sacrifices as it was told by Moses to Moses by God that settles the question I think tell me if uh, you disagree and on what base uh, also some parts go uh, and uh, there are Luke uh, inserted here the minister, uh, the preaching in Nazareth, what is completely in the wrong place, even in timeline, even in sections, and uh, there Matthew inserts uh, the mountain speech just in this uh, the secretive period, and uh, well, I think Mark had uh, also another story, but. Who cares, I will leave that for another video, and uh, yes, uh, 
Oh, I just uh, that's it.